Alright, how's it going? Welcome back to our Tears of the Kingdom 100%. We're, uh, well, we're in this cave right now. Just gotta get out. I just warped, but our goal today is the same as kind of those last couple of weeks. It's just, uh, 100% in the game, getting all the Koroks, um, which is almost 100 left. Also, some armor upgrades, too. We're in the water. Oh. <laughs> nice. But we actually need the heal, so. But... We're just going to be doing that today. Uh, it'll be a couple more weeks left to this, and then, uh, yeah. We'll be on to the next playthrough. Uh, there is fish in here. <laughs> These are some resilient fish. I guess it's a sizzle fin, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They're like heat resistant fish. Oh. I guess if you need more. We'll heal by other means, though. But yeah, that's the goal. I marked on my map as always where Koroks are loosely, so we can help find them and then just kind of using up everything else because this will be the most op we are in uh quite some time oh. of course can i i can now getting it back to the issue i thought it'll bounce off but uh no wait oh it's right there thank you Freeze tree into the water. Oh, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> we slice in the opposite direction. Nice. Wait, I kind of like that throw thing from earlier. Because we did that. It looked cool. It's like a spiral. <laughs> oh my god. Literally looks like the giant Zona hand swirl from the beginning of the game. Wait, one more time. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> yeah. I like it because these weapons never lose their charge because they're Gleox. So, infinite frost or fire or whatever. But yeah, I'll just keep getting these guys. So, welcome everyone. Hopefully, you're having a great Wednesday. Um, it's fun being back. I just took some time to myself these past, well, I guess two weeks because we haven't streamed since, well, two weeks ago. So,. We did get up the Zora run though, so thank you uh, for the feedback on that one, because that was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm playing the next one already, along with the uh, new playthrough after this one. So it's it's very fun. This is still technically our first playthrough of this game, but I mean we've played challenge runs on top of it. But yeah, continuing the save from the first day, all the way to 100%. So I like the tunnel. Oh, it's on top. <laughs> Usually the underpasses are Korok ones. You gotta like ascend to them. These ones are easy to find because if you just look at the map, if you're trying to find Koroks, wherever you see like the little rock patterns, like, I mean, you can kind of see it. But yeah, little rock pattern. So a lot of Koroks are just visible on the map, which is handy. Other ones I looked up because I'll just be scrambling around the map for hours. <laughs> Ooh, that was so close. Sorry. Trick shots aren't as cool as the second time. Uh, and especially not the third time. <laughs> but one more time and it shouldn't be painful. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm stubborn. I used to always do this in Breath of the Wild, but the... They made it less sensitive. <laughs> used to be able to drop like anywhere near it and it was fine. So I always used to do it this way. And that was like spot on. Wait. What? Oh, there's a second one. I see. It wouldn't have counted regardless. But this one will be absolutely perfect. Woo. <laughs> okay. It's more satisfying, but it's unnecessary. I get it. At this point, we're just building our own clumsy playstyle. Yeah. <laughs> Quark was a little shy. <laughs> just a tad. They also have higher standards now, so you gotta perfect the puzzles. It's like those uh, lily pad circle ones. Like, you used to be able to just jump in from any direction, but, uh,. In this game specifically, you have to do like the dive, like 
when you jump into water, it shows like the dive animation. You can't just like paraglide into it now. So. <laughs> the Koroks know their worth. You have to do the puzzles correctly. And precise. Yeah. How am I doing tonight though? I'm doing good. I, uh, yeah, I've been just taking it easy this past week, so. Not really focusing on too much stuff with, uh, Zelda. I just want to distance a little bit, so. With friends, with family, that sort of thing. So, yeah. The Zoro one was my big project for, like, the past month. But yeah, I'm hoping to get that new challenge run and some other stuff, uh, within the duration of this month and, uh, the last few streams of this playthrough, too. We'll also be doing more uh, Minish Cap this Friday, so. Um, all this stuff's in the description, by the way, so just to make it easier. But I'm excited for that. I just like playing Zelda. Clearly. Mm. This is kind of neat. Used to be Hinoxes here. It's like, is it raining? Okay. It's like, that's not a sun shower. There's no shun. sun. Oh, thank you. I love rain. You know, it compliments rain really nicely. Well. Not you. Let's see if we can find him. Fire. Mm. So I guess you do have to do that with it, maybe? Dual pepper strat? Oh, it does. Oh, no, okay. So you can't do dual pepper and rain, but it'll at least give you somewhat of a updraft that way. That's kind of cool, though. Not that painful. <laughs> Thank you, Falling Rock. For nothing. Oh, this is a whole, uh, ancient tower. I mean, by Korok standards, it's like a tower. One story house to me. Small house. Thank you. No. Precision's good. Yay. Okay. Yeah, post the VODs to uh, the Zora run. I'll, that should be up by tomorrow, so. Things always take a while to process. It's fun. Mm. Okay, let's see. I want to go there. Also there. They're all kind of loose now, because we're at the last 100, and uh, yeah. It's kind of just the ones in between everything else that we got. It's one of the fastest strats. First, I might turn my HUD back on, because that is pretty helpful. So I'm not just constantly going back to the map. Yeah, I do appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know why these gives off like, like carnivorous plant vibes. Like it doesn't look like, it looks like it's going to come alive or something. Just like the tip of it. Like a Venus flytrap without... The fly trap. So there's eggs on here. And get them. Right out. That was so close. <laughs> oh, we just made. Run away. <laughs> We're gonna bonk him with this. Beep. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> They're getting the bonk, so. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Do I need to kill him for any reason? Actually, that's stupid. Use this thunder against the thunder enemy. All my health. <laughs> cool. I didn't need it. You know, it's it's fine. It's fine. I'm just fooling around right now, so that's perfectly valid. <laughs> we fused that. Okay. Where's one hardy thing? Here's actually two, because these only do one. 
I was thinking Mario for the uh the two. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, something silly that I just totally forgot about. Not that this is practical, but is the fire gonna burn the ice? Probably not. You can even work the stuff if it's high up. You do that, see how high it is, and whoop! <laughs> the fruit just flies into it. Yay. <laughs> this one's a bit lower, but it just goes up first. It's kind of silly. We don't need this one. Okay, fine. Should we just cook more? Oh, it's drenched right now. I mean, of course. <laughs> Fire and water don't mix. I'm just cooking them all up. I'm gonna need them because I always forget to heal. Mushroom. And then cake row. <laughs> Very nice. One more. That's the reward for getting all the uh the stable picture quests. One picture per stable. So that's like, you know. A carrot reward. Made of carrots, horses, carrots. It's fitting. Surprised I didn't go here yet. So I saw like like, but I don't always like like them. They're very good in like uh especially challenge runs to get like good regional weapons early on. But when you have all pristine stuff, they're not as handy. Also, no wonder I missed this. <laughs> We're doing another throw because it looks cool. Wait, maybe we can make it here. Come on. No, a little far. No. <laughs> it's a silly one. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I just like the way this one arcs. Oh. No more ice pop. <laughs> okay. Sidon, I guess? <laughs> Just someone. <laughs> Near the attack, okay. <laughs> Before he got back up. Hmm. What drop table? I think it's a Sheikah drop table. Because it's like Nakluda. Yeah. Quick shot Frenic. I... I... Uh, I don't need it, but I also don't need all those duplexes. Kind of a nifty area. There's this hill I never took, but I'm assuming there's nothing on it. Is that a fair assumption or a... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. You just gotta look up sometimes. Oh, I was like, hmm. It's nice and flat, so it's either going to be uh, one of those or one of those. This could be fun. Yep. <laughs> Should we just plop in? It's my highest damage weapon. Wait, do you have this? Yeah, we could have fun with this. Just start with the big shebang. Perfect. Got half. And with this exceptional range. Oh. I'll take it. One more, though. Whoa! I got a backpack of sorts. So why didn't the shock chain? You know what? Give me an idea, though. And someone else. Oh, actually almost me. Get a little high ground. A little too much high ground. Come on! <gasps> Everything's fatal to myself. Right, you, you can't do that anymore. Your own shock's fatal against you. But that... That sweeps. Neat. Oh, wait. Honeycomb bat. 
You know, really quickly, you take this one. I can use the bees. <laughs> Fight for me, bees. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, he just took my weapon. Properly thought out. <laughs> the bees are still going around. There we go. Bees. No, get them. <laughs> so, so handy. Okay, I like my weapon back. <laughs> Uh oh! Ooh. <laughs> oh, got him! Wait, that wait, the blades can hurt their friends. <laughs> wait, we do it again. I'm turning off my sages so they don't ruin a silly. Hit something. Get him! <gasps> oh no, didn't get him that time. <laughs> How do you get electrocuted that one time? He definitely did electrocute him, though. Whoa, he parried it! <gasps> I mean, it wasn't good inevitably. Whoa! Okay, I don't know why I hurt his friend that time, but for the first time. I wonder if I can parry that sweeping attack, you know? Bees, do something about them. <laughs> Thank you. That's just kind of cool, honestly. I, I can't throw it. <laughs> nah, <you're waiting. laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Let's stop playing so dangerous. Ow. <laughs> I have my infinite health, so I don't mind. And... Hmm. I have my own shock. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Still cool though. Get my weapon back. Get his stuff. Ooh, multiple pain. <laughs> the lightning bolt. Just keeps going. It wasn't enough to take him down. <laughs> Goes fast and far. And not quite. Didn't I have a radiant shield? I dropped it, didn't I? Let's get a two for one. He's gonna fall right into him, right there. And one more for him. What? <laughs> he clearly hit him. That's okay, we'll just arc it. It's like too small. Perfect. Wait, frog! What is going on in this fight? All chaos, no substance. Perfection. Bye bye. And I'm not losing that weapon. Best thing to do when you lose a boomerang. You don't really need the compendium for a lot of things. It's it's kind of you know, just a few things. And one of those things is always take a picture of boomerangs. Because if you lose yours in a fight... Oh, it was that close, actually? Guess so. Oh, it was up there. That's probably one of the best compendium uses. Because boomerangs are lost all the time. Now we go for Radiant Shield, because I dropped mine. I didn't really need an extra, so if I can't get it back, then that's fine. Because there's so many weapons in these fights that somebody spawn. Oh, so yeah, welcome everyone to the end. Sorry. <laughs> Had a chaotic battle to win there. My shield is gone, but I didn't really mind because I had a duplicate. So. You know, I might have lost it earlier, to be honest. Oopsies. Um, That's fine. We still have that one over there. And a bit of distance to get there. We could take a big loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeah, we could take a big loop-de-loop. -loop. We need the tools to do so, which is a... I always find the thing I need last with my eyes. That, that, uh, the stabilizer and the two lights because that's in the auto build. I'm always ashamed of my history. 
Sometimes. Okay, now we find model cycle. One wheel is better than two in most cases. Drifting. <laughs> oh. Unless you're trying to do that. <laughs> Little bumps. We do the next one. Or not. There we go. Well, I wonder what the sign says. I never really read these. Wetlands. Oh, because the Skyvy Tower. I was about to say that wasn't there before. Because it used to not be that. So it makes sense that it would add the directions. Also, my heart pins are for the bees. See, there's a lot of bees in this area, so it's kind of good if you want bee stuff. I'm kind of running low, so I'm cool with that. They're pretty mean. Oh. Next one. We'll do the third. <laughs> there we go. Satisfying. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? It's okay. You just stay put, okay, tree? Nope. But... Oh, it didn't... It didn't cut through on the way back. Some weapons work that way. It's just a trial and error. I like when it does. But one of the nice thing is about throwing weapons in this game, uh, or like when you recall them specifically, usually throwing weapon like breaks it upon impact, but like if it's to an enemy, but if it's on the recall backwards, it can still hit enemies, but not break it. So. Let's see, how, how can we try this in example? Here. So I'm pretty sure normally it would break the tree if I just threw it directly at it. What if we do this? Yep! It did not break the tree. Ow. Yeah. And you can still get the double damage from like the throw. So that one I always kind of find kind of nice. <laughs> Is this another? Be parry. Nope. My skills diminish with these. <laughs> Don't eat the wheat. It's mine. Oh. <laughs> My pride won't allow me to kill him any other way. There we go. And you gotta do the second. Yes. <laughs> I have to do two bee parries to vanquish the bees. I wasn't really killing them. I, I still do like them a lot. Let's see, not full hearts beans. Four though. Yep. Go away, bees. Somewhere safer. I love the beam attack. Oh, it's very weak. Tent and damage beams. 40 health trees. So we gotta go there. Okay. I have a plan here. Gotta write it in. Of course. This is important for the plot. Oh, yeah. Very plot heavy right here. Huh? Doesn't it go up, though? You know, I think that's the thing I've been noticing. If you fuse something to this or move it in any way besides just recalling immediately it just doesn't it like overwrites that data of it following in technical terms i think so 
normal terms, that's just dumb. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. But still is the fall particles. <laughs> I'll see. No. Might know. It's okay. My my plan, uh, because I wasn't able to verbalize it, was to uh fuse the vehicle to that and then write it up, and then when it's off the top, I could just write it off. You know, like an actual cool idea for once. But it couldn't execute. Hmm. I have a different plan to try out next time we encounter one of those, but won't be too far off. Whee! And then we go. It's a little heavy. I definitely expected a bit different of a plan. Wait, can this like glide off things though? Whee. This this is ph phenomenal. I was gonna ride it up and then glide off, and that would have worked, but rockets didn't give me enough height. Let's try one more thing. If it's a bust, it's a bust. But I like trying things. A little snow locks. <laughs> nope. At least we got the height from it. <laughs> we use an emitter shield. Ooh, double. <laughs> cool. Break up the shield and toss them off. Or actually stay on, because I don't want to go down. Here. Best way. Uh, it's going to be nice. To both you and me. I'll take these. I like those. Sky mushy. Ooh. Hmm. Heal up nicely with us. Maybe a maybe a big hit to get him started. And finished. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay. <laughs> Those are just fun. And then get up there. We just do a little impatient spring shield. Oh, it's a cork. <laughs> oh, water cork. Floor lava. Hmm. Let's see. For you, fishies. Got to stand back so we don't shock ourselves again. Greatly overestimated. Engineer making a comeback. I, uh... I'm glad there's no consequences in this high roll. Because I could not engineer in any other case. No consequences when you have, like, infinite food in life. Also, yeah, I guess you can't shock the water this way. Like so many new things. Disappointing things sometimes, but... New. Okay. What type of fishy is these? Are just normal base. But honestly, this is one of my favorite quark types. Because, like, what do you weigh it down with? The power of the water itself. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that was cool. We got everything in this little area. Um, I'm thinking next we maybe start going around here. Because the Tori route. Uh, quite a bit of things. I really like the animals. Duck. We'll go here. I can get a horsey too. Yeah, fresh fish. Fish. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect Zora food. Zoras eat fish. Ritos eat birds. Just like on the food chain level, you know? Zora food. 
But also, I do need some more fish of, uh, I think, the Voldfin type, because we're almost done with the arm upgrades. I just got, like, a couple more. Yeah, going fishing's fun. I could heal up. Fast heal. Okay. But for Horsey, um, we have a couple options. Take Horse. Hmm. See, we took Fry's last time. Good speed horse. But taking the landscape, I like Rogu. Ah. Rogu is speedy. It's like all the big horses, they show like a low speed stat, but ah. like they're still going fast because that's just relative to their size. Ah. So ah. it looks like you're going slow, but it's actually pretty speedy. Oh man. Daunting. Oh, right, what do I like to do? Follow me. <laughs> so cool. Nice. I don't see it. with a giant boomerang that should be even slower. It may even be too far, but we'll see. <laughs> it's like a travel companion. <laughs> Do that or like run with the speed buff. <laughs> we love having a nice buddy. Mr. Spin. Uh, it does go away after a bit, but it's pretty cool. I'm not actually sure if the jaw makes it slower or for just the size of the big boomerang. Oh. And. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wait. Ah. I see a ledge. It's not even letting me throw it. <laughs> Tell we're low on space. Oh! Okay. Direct hit. Oh, that time it chained. <laughs> Okay. So if you hit the fish directly, then it'll work. Stand in the base. I just love experimenting and messing around. And really just using this tool set because, uh, you know, it's like the final end game stuff. Uh, these just cumulatively were my favorite weapons throughout the whole playthrough. Um, or rather the post game because through the main playthrough, just kind of picking up whatever. And then when I got into the post game and, you know, started getting a lot of good pristine stuff, I was just refining a lot of my weapons, keeping my favorite stuff, and just uh, repairing those. So, yeah. On our next playthrough, will be a different set of weapons. So I just really like these. And, yeah, I dig them. I'll throw some more down the river. We'll go up a little bit first. <laughs> Rogu does best. I'll yeah. see. Yeah, welcome everyone tuning in. Um, I think the goal for today, I don't didn't exactly set one, but I think we had about 30 Koroks till the last 100 when we started. So we can probably finish with less than 100 left today. I'm not rushing things, but also it's kind of just the main big thing we have left in the playthrough. Exciting. Mm. I hate how the stakes are like last almost. I can use this new front. Oh, it was just that. I like I take these waterways to know. It's the nicest all over be to him. There we go. <laughs> Launch back. More stake shots for more travel too. Yeah. 
think ultimately like my favorite ones to use uh besides a few builds just like individual stuff it's got to be stakes for things like that and then i do like springs for nice spring shield combos if you chain them nicely at mountains are pretty fun also just super spring hunting hit the floor it's okay we're not a poacher we we use the meat for selling yes 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 oh no i missed the mountain Whoop. awesome versus moblin combat I wonder if it comes back to me, will it hurt the deer itself? Oh, wait a second. I need to see this for a second. <laughs> yeah, because the deer is like a different entity. Here. <laughs> I caught it too soon. Yep, it will freeze the deer. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, some nice chilled meat coming up. Meat's pretty neat. Got my back against the wall all the time. Where is mine? No, that's for you. <laughs> See, it breaks on throw. Ooh, monster extract. I did not need to do that. <laughs> Oh, did it hit him? I think it hit him through, yeah. <laughs> Just not for all the damage. There. Right there. And bye-bye. <laughs> With the critical. So fancy. And you get extra bugs and stuff from him. So it's cool. And extra wood, too. A little bit more on average. Is this like a... This is apparently the Korok. Doesn't feel super Koroki though. No. Hmm. It's gotta be in here. Oh, like a little hill. The Korok's at the top? No. It's a peculiar shaped hill. No, it's a normal rock. Oh! Huh. <laughs> Two little guys next to each other. <laughs> On the head. <gasps> like a Teletubby. What? Oh. <laughs> Why is it so close? Huh, I've never seen one like that. He's doing a tango. So do I ever get anxious about getting all a thousand Koroks and being at like 99.9%? Um, I don't think it's that bad because if we get to that boat and it is like that, that just means that, uh, well, we're just missing a map location. So like a bridge or maybe a thing in the depths. And there's not too many of those that you, you know, not going to encounter 100% anyways. So I'm trying to think of a couple. Um, it's like I saw some earlier. Yeah, these two bridges. Uh, I checked here earlier. There was no Koroks here, but every bridge is a map thing. So um, there's going to be a couple areas you go to that you can get all Koroks, all everything else, but still have to go back for like map completion. So things like bridges, uh, make sure to check chasm pits too, because you've got to go down all of them. Um, we actually found one recently that we didn't go down. So that all counts for the 100%. So it probably won't be that bad, honestly. Just a little minor thing to do. Listen to the egg enthusiasts. I do appreciate all the the food praise in chat, though. Whether you're a, a pizza pirate, an egg enthusiast, you know, uh, it's all it's all valid. And especially considering all the good food in this game, yeah, I'll be a part of all teams. Also, is that a golden apple offering? I flurried the keys. 
cool. <laughs> that is a golden apple offering now. You know, I've seen ones of all sorts of types, but that's a first. <laughs> and an only. Likely. <laughs> Makes sense. It's oh yeah, because this is the tree where you get the the white stallion and uh, Breath of the Wild. And yeah, feed horse good apples. That's actually kind of cool. That's. Is there a tree there? And it must be a tree there. It's always those lone ones. Also, what a nice ride. Hmm. One thing I didn't mention, uh, kind of a rare inventory right now, but uh, I usually repair my stuff at Rock Octos, uh, sometime during streams, sometimes uh, just in between streams. But if you look at like all my attack ones, this is an attack ton, this is an attack ton, uh, well, that's just a sex, but this one's an attack ton. This one's an attack ton. Uh, I don't know. I, because I know it's usually a range between like 6 and 10 that you get at random. But I feel like the more you repair a weapon and you get that attack, it just gives you better ones of that same sort. Because whenever I repair weapons and I get the attack up, I'm always getting the 10 now. And I don't know the stats behind that, but it's too consistent of a pattern not to look otherwise. So I think that's neat. Um, so we're not gonna kill this guy because worthless to me. Is it just that thing or what are we looking at? It is a bit out of the, oh, spark, yeah. <laughs> Don't know until you get very close. You can't get attack up ten, or you can't get attack up eleven because ten's the max. Um, it is consistent that way, which is nice. <laughs> Let's go on. But I do like how Breath of the Wild did it, uh, with every weapon having its own unique like attack range. So some weapon types would have a much broader range, like you can get like attack twenty five on stuff. Uh, I think even attack thirty on some. I'm not sure. Like. Deeper into the double digits, um, where some were less. So some weapon types felt more like s special and important to go for those modifiers. So it was more unique, but just with how many weapons there are in fused stuff, it was simplified for this game, which I think is fine because there's just so many different things with weapons now. Where in Breath of the Wild, every weapon was just, you know, its own stat. But in this game, you can fuse it with so many different things, so. It's fine to simplify the system because of that. Yeah. yeah, just reasons why I still love Breath of the Wild still stands on its own in several mechanics. <laughs> this one's like coming back. <laughs> still cool though. And back shot. <laughs> oh, and he's gonna take it. <laughs> dangerous. Uh, not ideal boat. <laughs> Oh, no, not that either. <laughs> Love duplex because you can do stuff like flick shot. Oh, that could have been bad. You turn to me. Easy shot. Nope. He blocked it. Yell. There we go. That was just my dodge. Hmm. <laughs> And then, of course, we got a flurry weapon. Or, ooh, one combo one. <laughs> it's a fan, but I'm a bigger fan of the damage it does. One hit. Bye. Yeah. Overkill. No, I fought these guys before, but I did not go to the tree. I should know the patterns, but 
I forget the patterns because I'm easily distracted. Oh, Insta win. The wind does not angle up unless you do it yourself. Can we just keep stun locking him? I think we can actually. For how long? <laughs> Off the bridge? <laughs> I don't know, you can keep doing this. Hmm. Okay, first we can just kite him this way, maybe. Also, that one. That one is funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pure bullying. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah. That's worth it. <laughs> worth the information of knowing. What stream did I first go to Cock Reek on this playthrough? I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't one of the first things I checked out. Um, I don't know. There was... That, that's like the one thing. Uh, the entire first month and after this game, I played so much of it. It's hard to remember those little details, but still so much stuck with me in the grand scheme of it. Um, yeah, my first thing after doing a bunch of the central stuff, because I was in the central area for a while. Because I didn't want, really want to move on. I was having so much fun. Yep. My first thing was uh, really wanting to go to the snow area. But like I checked out like the labyrinth and stuff like that. All before even the first dungeon. So that was a lot of fun. I know it's like the technical first dungeon. A lot of other people did that. Um, but it makes sense. It was a good cinematic start to the little quest line. Leaving the center area. Yeah. So I visited like other places like Kakariko, at least sometime after the first dungeon. I don't remember. Where was Grand? Hmm. I wonder why... It's right there, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to check the middle. That was maybe going to be a dangly, but there's also leaves. So. Yeah, you know, I try to get people's consensus on like first or I guess favorite returning village in this game. Um, because personally, my favorites in Breath of the Wild were Hiteno for its grand scale and Gerudo for the opposite reason. Just being very, you know, tight knit and close. But uh, both were very cool for their own reasons. I like Hiteno because it really fits the uh, the broadness of this game. Because no Zelda Village was like that before. Didn't really have that sort of scale because the worlds weren't as big. So Tenno really encapsulated Breath of the Wild very well. But I also love it in this game because it really fits the theme of change. You know, like how everyone in the town debates about, you know, the mushroom stuff versus the uh, classic farming stuff. And that's how like Tears is. It's like, you know, the old world, what we like about Breath of the Wild versus, uh, you know, all the new Zonai stuff like scatter throughout so like a fully remixed world so in a way it's the village is kind of like an analogy to uh the world itself and how it changed and how we accept the world for how it is and the upheaval so that's why i kind of like it, it made a little cool allegory and uh fitting you know oh that was awesome <laughs> i'll just quickly dice them up a bit i've been using that one a bit We're going to do that. <laughs> Bit more boomerang fun. Get him off the tower. <laughs> That's never mean. It just hit him. <laughs> Oops. Bounce back. Do a little shock chain. Why not? And then hit the crate. <laughs> just hitting all the wood today. Oh, <laughs> I got a fire on him. Wait, can we do another? Fire arrow. Oh, just put out the... No, the rain! <gasps> Let's try and do a crafty. That's okay. That's crappy. Just too much damage. Last one. Perfect. 
And we're just gonna shoot that off. <laughs> Renewal. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I'll give you one more shot. Me. What? Another shot. These aren't shots. These are jumps. Very necessary. Oh, wait. It's blunt. Yeah. Pain. I like the extra hits. Lizard. He was operating the vehicle. And golden apple. Was that in the normal tree part or is that part of the drop table? That I don't know. Nice this jump attack. There we go. New world. New arrow spawns. A lot of them. Too many. I just keep using them and we keep getting more. And more. Yeah, doesn't matter. Exactly why I'm doing this. Break this guy and bye bye. <laughs> yeah. The beam damage is consistent regardless of how many hearts you have. You just have to have full hearts to use it. But uh, well, depending on how many total hearts you have, that's the uh, distance of the beam. So if you have three hearts only and you try doing those beams, they go very short. So if you ever did a three heart run and tried using the beams, you'll probably know that already. Which is kind of cool, because it actually incentivizes getting more hearts. For that one kind of weak attack, but still kind of cool. Hmm. By the way, what's a duck in the title for? Um, so, I happen to like the ducks in this game, and uh, I didn't really have a title idea. So, yeah, that's the inspiration. Um, you know, with these streams, I try to just title it something, because at the end of the day, I'm just kind of roaming around and having fun. And I don't know exactly what that entails sometimes. Duck. That's what was on my mind, so that's why I made the title. Oh, the spins. As long as you have a little speed, you get the critical. It's critical and on top of the 146. Fancy. Too much damage, though. We'll go to Satori soon. Hmm. Duck, indeed. I don't even have a fun pun to answer that, you know? Just ducks. They're cool. I don't know many duck puns. Quack. Uh, no. Just duck. Duck amok. These are mushroom trees. Also, rank the dungeons in this game on a scale of 1 to 10. I find a hard time giving number rankings to things, honestly. Um, I can kind of rank them amongst themselves, so. Because I think my favorite dungeon, although I only played like half of them just one time. Um, the Fire Temple is probably my favorite because I just love the minecart stuff. Uh, and it has a really neat build up with, um, you know, the whole going down the volcano bit and then a little segment to get, actually get to the temple. Looks very cool from the depths too. Actually a very unique depths region, so I like that. And yeah, minecarts are cool. The boss arena is really cool with Yunobo. Um, so that's my favorite. Ranking the others, that's kind of hard now, but I can always put that one on the top. My least favorite might be the Wind Temple. It is really cool. It's it's kind of just like a simplified Divine Beast, though. It's like a Divine Beast without like the cool like movement mechanic, you know? So you have to like enter through different areas to find the little like terminals and stuff. And it's like figuring out how to get inside all the different little rooms and chambers. It's cool, but without like a giant like overarching mechanic, like moving part of the beast like in breath of the wild not as interesting as the others so there's my favorite and least favorite at least it's i'm not the best person at making like rankings for everything because 
personally I feel when I make a ranking like that opinion set in stone when really in a game like this it's it's a bit flexible sometimes I like a part a bit more than others uh at any given point so also hello oh is this an upward one? Oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool Oh, there's balloons. <laughs> oh, also that. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to do the strat again because we talked about it. And like one in Rome. Otherwise, it's just a hot air balloon. Oh, I have a good strategy. I have a good strategy. I think this will work. I think. Also, so it's consistent the way I want it to be. Um, everything's at the right angle. Check. Right? Actually, no. Better strategy. If you want it to be flushed with the wheel. Or the stick. Yeah. That guarantees it a bit more. That's perfection. Now, I'm pretty sure if I... S yeah, maybe don't... Well, I think... Yeah, if we just do that, maybe. There we go. That does work better. Uh oh, I went a little too. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Not very well, at least. Jump off, jump off, jump off. Okay. We're gonna make that. And it is gonna be great. Okay, so I, I can hit it from here. There we go. Yep. Just perfectly and a little too much. Wait, a little. Wait, nope. It's fine. No. <laughs> yep, it can't be a string without torments and a Korok. It's not an accident, too. This is, uh. I was saying I take too much pleasure in doing. It's okay. See? We're not having fun. So we're not torturing him. It's all accidental, you see. Totally. Boop. And watch this be a perfect drop. He was playing Plinko there. It's fine. We got it. This time will be absolutely just perfectly fine. See? He bounced around and... Look at that. I mean, we're not up with him, but... He still had some all-around fun. Just about. <laughs> you know, oh wait, there's a r rainbow pigeon. Look at that. Oh, it's birds and stuff. That's cool. My plan in the last, or what I should have done was, uh, here. I just have to reenact a little something. Don't worry. Torture ends soon. Just not now. What I should have done last time was drop it right then. Oh my god, wow.
<laughs> and then go back. <laughs> Torture. Boing. Boing. <laughs> Wee. Cool. <gasps> okay. So yeah, if you just let go of the staring stick, you can still stay on it, but uh, turn off the accelerator, I guess. That was kind of fun. <laughs> If it doesn't go fully to plan, I can reenact it so it does better next time. Well, that was fun. Cool. Horsey. Mm -hmm. Whoop. <laughs> A little too big for that jump on. Get on. Imagine the wetness applies to the horse. No. <laughs> Has to be me. I do like the spinny though. Is it on there? Probably a rock circle. I'm, I'm gonna guess rock circle. Oh, no, just dancing around the tree. Next stop, Korok. I'll stop. Bing. <laughs> This is good. Let's see what my current count is, but we got a lot today. Already. I love just messing about getting these. It's like nice thing about there being so many Koroks too, is uh... If you do want to get them all, and you kind of form a little path, or... You mark them and then make a path between them. You can also just do other little side shenanigans too. So it gives you an excuse to just go about, uh... Still kill enemies for fun, but you're still making progress. That's how we've been treating all of our 100%s. It's goofy, and in this game especially, you have really nice late game weapons to play around with, and a lot of extra zone eye parts for builds. So, yeah. I'm not like super good at the building aspect of this game. I I do like messing around a lot though, so I think that's fine. But I like how this game also caters to people who just really want to build like elaborate things, and are really good at that. Because, yeah, it just angles more into a uh, nice amount of play styles in this game. Also, <gasps> wait a second. This is a unique one. Boulders? Trying. Oh, it's a stack. Oh, okay. At first, I thought it was going to be like a, you just had to put one in and then it counted. But no, you stack up to it. That's also very cool. You know what? I appreciate stuff like that. Very rare do you have those where you have to, like, build up to it. There are some in this game. Usually sparkles are just, like, on top of something now. This one gives you a little template to do so. That, that's kind of unique. Okay. I appreciate when they're, like, 18% different. Close. Oh, Tulin got the headshot. He's the ace archer. The master. Okay. I appreciated that one. Um, now it looks like we just got that, that, that. A little space, but a lot to do. Yep. I wonder if it's an ascend upwards one. Checking like every little crack. Like, what could it be? That's a little far, isn't it? It is. Can we stand? Oh. Feels like we're supposed to be able to do that. I love how these purposely exist as a way to ascend up stuff. Oh. Yeah, they want to de-emphasize climbing a bit. So I think the school. It's cool that this game takes mechanics from Breath of the Wild, but de-emphasizes some of them, and then adds new ones. So, so like, climbing the de emphasize with, like, the ascend move, and those side things you can ascend up. So already that's helpful. Uh, they also nerf climbing a bit, because when you do the climb jumps, they're not as, uh, they don't go as far as the Breath of the Wild ones. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was still messing around. 
But yeah. It's like hard to notice, but uh, cl climb or let's climb up, I guess. <laughs> when you do this move, it's a little. It's not as high of a jump as the Breath of the Wild one. By like a quarter, so it's not that noticeable, but they purposely do little things to like de emphasize certain Breath of the Wild mechanics, but add new ones like, you know, the Ascend thing or using those, which is cool. Keeps things fresh, but also familiar. And fresh and familiar is like this game's slogan, so. Yeah, any objectives for the stream? We basically are at the point where we just finished all of their objectives. So these last couple of streams are just are just core hunting, basically. Core hunting, just using up our weapons uh, for the last time in this playthrough. And yeah, we'll be done in a couple more streams. So as far as I know, yeah, there won't be any more breaks. It'll just be every Wednesday till we finish, which just a couple weeks away. And on that final stream, I'll fully announce uh, our plans for the next playthrough. Because originally I was kind of debating between two separate playthroughs. Um, the latter one we'll do for the following playthrough. But there's a bit of prep for it, just making sure. Um, so I don't like announcing things too early and then changing the plan constantly in my mind. So. But it's something I'm very excited for. So that's a Lionel. What's the Lionel doing there? Just just cause, okay. Cause he can't do. I have a feeling that we're going to need more of this soon. I do love this outfit a lot. Flowy pants. Hmm. So we'll go skydive and then switch to Lionel stuff. I'm be looking forever. Ooh, we could go right in the Lionel, couldn't we? Who's stopping us? Absolutely no one. Can we just land right on? Almost. <laughs> I thought we could have actually though. Too small. Okay, what attacks can you mount? I think the dashing one. Cutty. Mm. Eh. We can compare powers. So that's not too bad. Actually, almost half. Okay, so the parry cancels that one. But I'm pretty sure if you dodge that attack, then you can ride the back afterwards. You missed. Here. You're gonna let him charge at me. Nope, it's okay. Being nice. Here, let's turn off Tulin so he doesn't headshot him. I need to see something really quick. I mean, no mood, Lionel. Okay. Ooh, what a nice sunset. I can do this all day. <laughs> he just stubbed his toe, I think. <laughs> right, streak. Dude, you do the charge one. Not that one. Run at me. You've done it. There we go. Yep. That one. Yep. Oh no, we just missed the prompt. <laughs> okay, so that one I should be flurrying more. But if we back up enough, then. Okay, good to know. I'll give him two more attacks. There we go. And we'll go like that. Yep, okay, good. So we back up while he's charging it. Before he does the actual forward. Then you get more room to run at him at the end. Oh, I totally got the right weapon out. I like how I can switch it. Cool. Well, that's something I haven't been really taking advantage of, so maybe I should. 
Because it's actually the only other good way to mount them besides headshotting them. I always just do the headshot. Hello. Pluck. <laughs> More fun with the pluck. Yeah. Lionel's experiencing major back pain now. <laughs> Spinning rock. Wait, that was kind of funny. Relive that pain. <laughs> yeah. Cruelty. <laughs> you thought you were out of it, didn't you? Because it only works with the flip. But cool. How do we miss that one? That I couldn't tell you, but I might as well just warp for these two. That's probably a balloon. Um, why there's gloom hands in here, isn't there? I could use another gloom weapon. Just the Lionel, nothing more. <laughs> but they're fun. They're never like super emphasized as like key bosses. They just kind of exist as tough overall guys. Let's see, the only like primal location ones in Breath of the Wild were uh, the Zora's Domain one and then the Gatehouse ones. This game, they're in truly odd spots, so. Ooh. See? Best way to deal with stuff like this. It's a really good way. Frost slot's very short, but if we chain it with one of these. Oh, doesn't last that, that long at all. Where do we get the reach? Just bat them all back. Keep going sideways and deathless. Yeah. Hurt, hurtless. <laughs> Range and speed and lots of firepower. There we go. Ooh. Also, I'm pretty sure this does not take durability against Ganons. For both him and normal Ganon. I'm like 90% sure on that. It's not even fuses anything right now. Ah. Always mess that one up. Wonder Flurry, he's he's confused now. He's puddling though. Nope. Puddles before his attacks. Been crying. In defeat. But I get it from the swords. Yeah. And those. I only had one left, so I kind of wanted to get it. <laughs> I also, I do have Cobble Crusher. I wish it was a long throw. That's technically a long throw, but that's a good one. This is meant to be my fodder one. <laughs> I guess it's okay. Figure for my last slot, I'm just gonna fill it with a good hammer weapon. Good durability. But it's only really best when it's a long throw. Because I need a couple more good gems for arm upgrades. We're doing good though. Like, if I look around, it's pretty much everything's maxed out. It's just a few of those. Well, this, need a couple more diamonds for. Um, these are maxed out. Those green tunics, really. And that one's maxed out. Like, some of those just need a couple more. Also, we have that maxed out, so. Scary. You know, we'll go wild set. Gives you that 20% attack buff. Cool. Is there no more rocks? Uh, guess not. I just need an exit. <laughs> Break luminous, get one flint. Oh, the odds. But I guess we can ascend out because, yeah, it is like kind of deep. A lizard, bye bye. Or rather. Oh, 
solution. Because there might be some more rocks to break. I keep doing this as if it's going to be helpful. <laughs> I don't learn. Insanity. Ooh. Christmas. Ow. <laughs> That's very bright. There's too many bright blooms. It looks like artificial. It's funny. Never tried ballooning out of here. You know, we really could, couldn't we? Yeah. Never said it was needed by any means. Also, I was about a hot air balloon before realizing my stupid mistake. <laughs> there was ice. Um, but I'm still gonna do it. Where's my balloons? I'm looking at every single thing. Yep, it's right next to my cursor. Okay, great. Ooh, actually, you know how we do this properly? Oh, you can't, right? Okay, that's for the fishies. Okay. I wonder if you can do like a water launch, just like. I don't, don't ask me. If you had something buoyant enough and it was deep enough, you could just like all try it down and then just watch it rocket. What is something buoyant though? Just out of curiosity, I want to. I don't have one of those like sh orbs for it. Hmm. I don't think anything here is. Maybe that should be my next auto build thing. One of those like balls that you can put under water and just launches up. My body heat doesn't warm up. Let's see, can I grab the side? I can't. Okay, I just want to see if I could. Don't mind me. I'm just. Part of me tells me to reset, but I'm not going to. <gasps> what if I have a fire sh No, I think it needs to be an active flame. It does need to be an active flame. Quick, hurry, go! <sighs> Yeah, this isn't painful. Don't worry. It's fun. It's all fun and games. But I realized I could build a little airship this way. Useless airship. But... What if I did something like this and I put a flame emitter on it? Yeah, like that. So it's away from me. And then we just have to put that final piece. You know. Rightfully so there. Perfect. That should give me room to stand. It does. It's flushed well too, actually. <laughs> no, this is good for the plot. Oh. I'm trying to cut down on costs, you see. It's... Uh, it's showing though, all right. What? This is why I don't build in this game. <laughs> I, I do. Some things aren't clicking with me. I, I. Don't worry, I'm putting the pain on myself here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down. Yeah, we're going to bring this to it. Nope, and you go back, go back, go back. See, it, it's this is how things should work. But why can't I get on the wheel? <laughs> there we go. Can you not? 
Moving on. You know what you should do? Just steak. Steak it up. I have a lot of vegetables. Now we have our steak. Because there's no meat in this contraption. It's just all failure. Okay. So, cooking by scratch, it works just handy. We just need to build it, and then we'll have the auto build. Very simple little cruiser. We have the fan there. Th that'll still work. As intended. Perfect. You see that? That's gourmet. Building is just cooking you can't eat. So then... What do we have here, my friend? Something very handy. Airship! Yeah! Wait, you got it. Keep going. We can ride it out when we're ready. Wait, this is actually kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, not in this application. I kind of built it early, but... Yep, you just need the one then. Okay, and then go out. Go! <laughs> I wish we picked the right side. That was a little taller. There we go. Oh, wait. We oh, can't get it. Oh, because it still floats for a little bit. Aha! It's okay, don't shy. Like that, yep. Yeah, it, st it stays up pretty well, even without a stabilizer. It's not meant for this application. Get out. I I'm very determined. I'm World-class engineer coming up. Sideways. Yep. I, I can just give up and go and then... Are you going to see that? Okay, perfect. See? <laughs> Used our brain. Now, where is this Korok? Aha! It passes so many times. <laughs> wow, that's actually easy to miss. Interesting. There's like holes leading to it. <laughs> Guess you could say it really caved in. It's cave. Okay. Oh, neat, though. <laughs> now we have an airship. That's how many parts? That's one, two, three, four parts. You get good heights. You can just drop in whenever you want. It stabilizes very well. Yeah, that's actually kind of a... I like this build, actually. I know the hover bike's more practical, but this is more like zany, you know? I like the fun zany ones. Can't really go down without... Oh wait, the balloons expire. I forgot about that part. Why do the balloons have to expire? Well, <laughs> ride or die. And we're just winging it, or fanning it. Yeah, hover bike, but not hovering. Slud. Yeah. Okay, keep going, keep going. This counts. Counts raining. Okay. Um Change to the next one. It's gonna be like a hover bike, but our own interpretation. I'm an engineer. Oh, that could have been bad. I'm not that dumb with that. I just like to have fun. Ooh. Perfect. Now this is good. More for a frontal assault. Oh yeah, that's that's how hover bike should be. Both ways. Wait, what did I just do? Wait, let's let's test it. Wait, Rolly. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. That changes nothing. 
perpetual roll though. Oh, unperpetual. <laughs> Okay, now we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop being an engineer. Some people are not meant for certain jobs. I understand my place. <laughs> they do see me rolling. Or maybe he did. Oh. No, you can't see them. Okay. These guys have good ears. So how do we get up there? And no, we're not going to build. We did enough self pain. <laughs> so we're just going to self spring. <laughs> yep. Spring? Why is all the stuff I like near the end? <laughs> Wish I could manually sort. I kind of can. I've been using them enough. Oopsies. That's for the next one. Or this one, maybe. And I messed up. There we go. Duel. <laughs> and now we use that to find the final. Up there. That was going to be a balloon. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Little uh, arrow through him. <laughs> Literally perfectly, just almost perfectly straight. Like a one degree angle. That's cool. Sadly, nothing in here, I don't think. Through the nose. That joke was on the nose. Wait, gusted! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, hammer gusted. <laughs> Oddly satisfying, just one by one. Yeah, arrow one to make a debut. Yeah. Never gets a spotlight. It's always just shot out of the way. Go, arrow. And they're just rolling. <laughs> like the water effect. Okay, that's basically all we came here for. It was just those two Koroks, but we got a gloom weapon and some cool stuff. How do we get these two Satori ones now? Just two. We can kill the Hinox in this cave. Also, I can get an updated count. Also, yeah, current hours and tiers of the kingdom. This playthrough, a little over 300. I have it in the description. 328. Um, but across all my challenge runs and like just like personal playing and doing like stat stuff. I want to say it's about at least 500, if not 600. So we'll go with that. It's kind of estimations because it's across a couple different playthroughs. And we're going to keep that for later. Oh, wrong one. One good shot. It's all we need. I forgot the arrows are fast. <laughs> Probably ascend into it. <laughs> I like how it's literally a Hinox cave. Kind of neat. Whistle. Do you have good ears? Guess not. We have a good eye. No longer a good eye. How many hits? None. <laughs> you know what would be funny, Hinox? You see how there's a little, like, opening? I see it too, don't worry. Look at that! Look how convenient that is. Oh. That's just a rock. Bye-bye! Get the eye! Oh! We did not get the eye. Good thing he doesn't have bombs to throw. It's like, almost cl- Yeah, yeah. Can I parry it back at you? Oh! Gonna be mad. Bye bye, I. No! <laughs> what happened? What happened? Again? <laughs> Just wanna get one good jump strike. Uh, 
All right. That was dumb. Do another. <laughs> it doesn't miss. Wait, no. Whoop. Beam. No, nope, that's gonna miss. Okay. You have to get closer, my friend. I just have to get this jumping eye shot. In multi hit, too. Please. Bye bye. No! <laughs> I couldn't get the eye. I just can't anymore. I'm trying that once more. <laughs> just one good eye shot. These are the satisfying things. It's like every time I went for it was the time he was trying to go for something too. Everyone wants duck. You'll see duck soon. We're we're close to Ducky headquarters, so. Okay, this is just important for my own plot. We go see. He starts over there. If we're good, we can just ascend right out. Okay, where is the hole? Is it over there? I just need one satisfying eye hit. Oh, it's not satisfying. Okay. Can, can you... So... <laughs> oh my god, Hinox. <laughs> you know, maybe we have to go like here. Come up, it's silly, I know. You know, I can't hit the eye though. I will make him sore. Okay. There you do a move first. We'll launch our attacks at the same time. Get him! There we go. Okay. <laughs> See, that's cool. And that's worth it. To that, I say goodbye. <laughs> oh, we can do one more. It does the double damage. Which feels cool. Wait, can we just... I think we're close enough just to hit it. Oop, no! Get the eye! Ah. <laughs> It's hard to get it with the weapon, but you can. Okay, we got a gut that time, so it's, uh, it was worth it. Worth it. Okay. You go like that, and then you go to Lin Gust. Or I guess we need that too, don't we? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Actual good stuff. Not many rare deposits, though. We do need, like, two diamonds, which I think has, like, one in, like, 200-something chance for one of these, on average. It's normal to go through a playthrough and at least see, like, one diamond from these. Rare, but still possible. More truffles, because we actually use them. Do need some. That was almost cool. A lot of almost today. Also, the quark seems to be right above there, so. Hmm. You know, sometimes I check the ascend spots of like areas like this. Because sometimes these line up perfectly with like cool stuff on here. Sometimes. It'll be like a special way up. Um, a little higher area. It's never like into something else. But. 
I guess here, maybe it was the underpass. Was it literally just an underpass one? It was. <laughs> were we at this underpass before? We were. Gamers never look up. Now we go to Ducky Lake. Oh. Go by a tree when you're about to get struck by lightning. Oh. I may have not sourced that information correctly. We're fine now, right? Okay. <laughs> Just hit that tree. We're fine. Wait, we gotta feel cooler. Rock hammer. Now we're upgrading. Boulder. One more damage. But a lot more cool. What's an actual weapon I can use here? Not many. Our own thunder. All right. <laughs> Similar boat. A lot of animals. Look at that. A lot of meat. That works. Oh, not for the last guy. We have a bee tree. Blink. Do what? Ow. No. Bee revenge. The lightning distracted me. Uh... Uh, I wasn't looking at the screen. Um, I'm allergic to honey. Uh, I'm I'm dead <laughs> inside. Uh, we got it. Okay, that was all us. <laughs> these other bees I can parry. Here they are. Where's the honey going now? Oh, and I, um, I have a wood shield. There we go. Oh, the second one should be easier. Okay. Quite a few skill issues. Where did the actual honey part go? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't we throw it at the... Did we pick it up because it went all spamming or... Oh no, they're like launched. Okay. That's good to know. Did we get the other one? I don't know. That's fine. It's not worth the... Uh, oh, hi. There's no duckies because of the thunder. But crabbies? Yes, please. And froggies. No, we're a frog. Metal boulder. It's a nice thunderstorm that I can't get on. Oh, and hello. Maybe we should get out of the way a little bit. Just a tad, I think. The recall it. Yeah, it's not like stasis. Oh, it just shocked all the. Oh, it literally beaconed all the fish. <laughs> oh. It's a fishing device. Smart hunter put it here for a stormy day, like today. Armory <laughs> or fleet lotus seeds. Here comes the sun. Duck! Whoa! Duckies! <laughs> they just spawn in. <laughs> Interesting. No. I'm so bad at this. No. They always hesitate right before they brought to go. No, not, not that time, no. They just read my mind. The bees evolved. <laughs> to combat the bee crisis of extinction. It's okay. I still get honey. <laughs> Yay. Plop. 
Okay, all good. <laughs> now you're stuck in there. It's like your own quark forest. Duckies! There's so many too. Well, four, but on top of the ones we scared. The heron. More fishy. A lot of little darners. Oh, cool. We'll leave the ducks alone. What a rainbow. See, what a perfect day. And hawks. The well, hawks are actually uh, the bad guys, so. You know, arrow less snipe. Oh, maybe not. Hawk hunting. Yeah! <laughs> Bullseye. Actually, won't get hit. Also, was there a Korok here? Did they forget to remove the Korok tree from Breath of the Wild? Because these trees are only for when there's like Korok acorns in them. But some of them from Breath of the Wild switch places, but I guess they didn't update the trees. They just have holes in them randomly. It's okay. You know what we're going to put in there instead? Our own acorn. Because you deserve it. Watch something like comes out of it. That'd be a really cool thingy. So where'd that meat go? There. No, it's not meat. Where'd the bird meat go? I like bird meat. Piggies. And stop and go. In my belly. I'm saying. Stop. And go. <laughs> Piggies don't like that. Don't worry. These guys didn't watch. Also, this new pig I got. This is Blanc. Uh, he has like a rectangular head. <laughs> so he's very silly. But he didn't see the trauma that just happened. Uh, bonk. Boink. Blanc. Boink. <laughs> They're both very silly ones. Very oddly shapen compared to the others. That's why I like them. <laughs> Blanc. It's a sound effect, so. <laughs> now I have six Minecraft pigs. Both Viv and I do. <laughs> I'm gonna miss. Let's, can we get on the second, though? Ah, yes! And then again, and then... No! I was mad. <laughs> Should not use that for, like, everything. I'm gonna break it. You know, fine. We'll just buy a new one. Can't really repair these. I have to buy them. But it's worth it. It's cool. Thundery. Blum, blum. Blum, blum. Okay. Well, that's basically it for that. Uh, nice, pretty mountain. There's some enemies now. It doesn't glow green. But still cool. And plants. So what is the only ruins? Oh, no, no. It's just squirrel. It's inhabited now. More duckies, yay! See? Do you guys want to know the true use of the uh, Zora helm? No! It. I was trying to do that. That that's like a pet move, so it doesn't actually hurt him. Okay, this time, first try. Get him! I'm like pressing it on the dot. See, that was, that was my parry. I'm getting so good at this. Mushroom. Bear! So what were the bears here? Not them having a billion health, though. You think that killed it? I disagree. I disagree. They still exist. Oh, never mind. He still exists. Okay. There we go. They're not as bad as the snow ones, but... Big meat. No salmon. Just meat. I don't think bears could spawn in Breath of the Wild here. But what if we did this move? Does it follow? 
Oh, it does. It keeps going. Nice. He's determined. Uh oh. Boomerang. Boomerang. Uh, come back. It's all the way at the top. Oh, no, not that far top. It's, uh, this can't be karma. No. No. My, my thing. My thing. It's gone. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just make a new one. It's probably low. I have to buy a new one all the time. So that's that's a sad truth. But yay, we did something, right? Okay. It was a good boomerang. It's my favorite. It's my thunderbolt. So that's fine. Um, but you know what? Yeah, how I build my new ones. Oh yeah, I was here last, but. This is the closest, like, offering thing to a shrine. It's very convenient. Uh, I always have to buy more of these because, I mean, you can repair them, but it's like the weird repair work run where you gotta, like, fuse it to a shield first, then repair that with the Rock Octo, and then go to the Break Apart Shop. So it's too many steps for something I can just easily buy. I'm sure it was very low, too, so I'm not too worried. We have tons of extra things. Oh yeah, just just a little up there. Nothing too crazy, just a tad out of the way. Or a little bit more than I remembered. <laughs> That's fine. Was a good bow. You, you, you're a good bow. There we go. Make it close. I just gotta make it there. Perfect. <laughs> Just a bit overkill, but fun. <laughs> Beep. Should go on faster. There we go. You know what's cool? If you're like sorting, if you do like one up thing, it's kind of slow. But if you do two at the same time, it's faster, I believe. Unless I'm just placeboing. It feels like it's jittering more visually, but I don't think it's faster. Never mind. <laughs> Like, it seems like one press, two press, one, not, I don't know. <laughs> you know, in some games, if there's, like, two ways you can go one direction, if you hold both of them at the same time, it actually goes faster. It looked like that's what it was doing. <laughs> Just me making excuses. Uh, But, yeah. This one. Our... You can equip the one. Thank you. <laughs> Thunderbolt. <laughs> Lot of range. Very yellow. <laughs> oh my god, it says Seabreeze Boomerang nearby. Thank you. I, I didn't realize. Okay. okay, but I guess for our next mini adventure, we could go. There is a Zora route that has quite a few quarks I missed. Because, yeah, I didn't take it too much besides to get, like, these caves. Because um, my first time here, I took the main route. Like, the new one. Not the old main route. So, could we do that? We could. Yeah. Oh, maybe that'll be a stretch, too. So, let's start here. Let's get the stuff around. And then just kind of get the ones in this pass. That'll be our first stretch. <sighs> Oh yeah, I'm fittingly wearing the Zora armor. <laughs> We're just doing the Zora run again. That we just did. Also almost 900 Koroks, so... Yeah. Saw someone say earlier, uh, if this was Breath of the Wild, we would be almost done. 
Oh, nope, 100 more Koroks. I mean, still technically 900 puzzles, though. So. Just 100 of them give two seeds. Do we have Zora weapons? Yes. We have two. We have Zora shield? Of course we do. And technically a Zora bow, too. Okay, Zora run, part two. <laughs> Put a pristine Zora. I don't know. I just had to, like, elevate from the Breath of the Wild looks. To make it stand out. So used to the Breath of the Wild styles. Here. non zork glider, though. Is this a sparkle trail, or... What are we looking at here? Wait, there's a... Cozy look... Nope, that's nothing. Unless it's one of those I'm supposed to move. Let's see. Yep. I pinned the end location to one. So let's do that one a bit later. Because I pinned a lot of these wrong. For our next playthrough, we'll try to get it right. <laughs> Splashies. Yeah, I wonder how many of those travel ones I have left. Um, statistically, I'm 90% of the way there, so there's probably still like 10 left. But I guess we'll see. My theory is only five, because I feel like I did almost 100 of them. Very much an estimation. I'll see ya. Find any waterfall. It's cool revisiting with the Zora armor now. Oh, I was never here, was I? Yeah, I guess not. I can't believe I never went to check what they did with this area. Used to have some food stuffs in it. Huh. Wait, one, two. Three. It's kind of neat. Well, there's only one of three ways you can put it in anyways. Or do we have to find all of them or... Wait. Oh, one, two, three, four. That's actually cool. I mean, there's only one of three ways you could have done it anyways. And that made the most sense to start. But yeah. That shows one, that shows two, three. I guess the other ones would have been four too, but it's like a dice. <laughs> Hi. I wonder if I could... It's actually kind of silly. Wink. <laughs> wow, 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 wee. Oh, can't get out. Prison. An old four equally spaced prisoners. What is that one then? I'm sorry, I'm surprised I never saw this. Totally forgot about this area. Because yeah, now there's a cave system that leads through it. It's nice going back with the armor. World smallest flight. Two limb plate. To get the sludge off. <laughs> oh, Sidon's here. <laughs> Speaking of which, there we go. <laughs> and here. No more sludge though. As soon as you get the water ability fully. No sludge, but still helpful. Oh wait, yeah, we got to heal up. And one more. Poke. <laughs> We don't even need to be overkill right now. Just do your thing, Sidon. Little spin attack. Oh! <laughs> He's about to throw that at my face. So thank you for not. <laughs> one over there. Uh, guess we'll get that one quickly. Never pick a direction fully. Yeah. I'm always curious to see where they head things. That just seems to be a very out of place rock circle. And 
go in the direction of that. Oh, this is want to guard it. Oh, thus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Off the cliff for you guys. But you want to stay and be annoying. Oh. You know what? Yeah, it took a heart for me. Or a quarter heart. So that's how you die. The rest go bye bye. I still got their loot up there. Or one of them's. Because the heads can fall, but. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> We're gonna ignore the rest. Oh, two over there. Okay. Um. We're gonna just get these and work back. Yeah, that's true. A lot of splinters. And we're gonna slow climb. Hello, cherry tree. Alright, it's almost like actually like cherry blossom season. Like in the earth. So that's cool. It's only a couple weeks, so. Yay, start of spring. And they look nice. And pink's cool. Let's see if we can get the carrots. They always have carrots here, so good place to stock up. Don't need caves, though. Wait, I wonder what happens if you feel one of these, but you got all the caves. It might just be the same thing. Gotta make it. Oh, it still does it? Okay. Or maybe. If you're an actual in-world visual cue. Did I do the rock circle? That's a good point. So yeah, just all over the region. Wait one second. Did I just like... Thank you. <laughs> the real challenge was the Lizalfos, wasn't it? Where's the rock circle? You know what? It happens. That, that's my excuse. It happens. It certainly does. Oh, the rock was right there. Cool. <laughs> eh. That's a boulder. Would have been nice to have that rock weapon for this, but I guess we'll solve it like a normal person. Um, maybe. I lied. Not normal, but cooler. <laughs> Yay! The instant drop. For those who don't know, I'm just popping out my bow. It just instantly drops the thing. So, because it's, I don't know. Canceling the animation, I guess. <gasps> oh, that was unprecedented. What? No! Immune. Back away, they're too dangerous. What? What? What happened? <laughs> Wait, seriously, what happened? Did Sidon get him? That I. Did Sidon hit him? I just it happened too fast. I need to see what happened. Sorry. My brain cannot comprehend. Sidon, look at Sidon. Okay, it happened like right as the effect was going off. My bad. That's my figure. I was just like. The shockwave of that just killed them. That's what it looked like. Doesn't make sense. I was just bamboozled. Tall tree. Oh. <sighs> yep. <laughs> we like climb into each other. Okay. Okay. Always yep. Reangle yourself that way. And it's not. It felt right. Well, this is another travel one, and in that case... Hmm. 
maybe. Maybe something. Maybe not something. It's, an it's another travel one. We have to find two starting points, which is... Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm just gonna check the map. I have it in the description. Uh, for this one, in case it's close by and I'm just not seeing it. Let's pull up our map. Is it not pulling up? It's not pulling up, which is awesome. Sorry, sometimes it does this. Now it is, okay. You see it? Okay, good. Um, it's Korok Friends, okay. So it's actually the other one. Wait, so where's that first one then? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was right next to it. That's good to know, okay. <laughs> cool, good. Mm -hmm. I estimated five left. There's already two. <laughs> but yeah. Like 10% of all Koroks are that. Or rather... No, 900 puzzles. So one-ninth of all Koroks are that. Yeah. Crazy ratio. Oh, then there's also the... Because we didn't check that out. Okay. Another buoyancy check, and boing? Or is it a current one? But this one, I think if it goes downstream enough. No. So I love how there's like a pathway leading to it. Pseudo pathway. Oh yeah, like literal steps. Kind of, and then it just cuts off. Okay. Something. Maybe I didn't pop it down right. Okay, use it. Mm. Yeah, we can just try the stat where we go that. Oh, okay. Also made me think I would have to drag something, use the water pressure of the going downstream, but it wasn't. Hmm. I didn't do the math, but I think we're at 900 quarks now. Also, do I eat Girl Scout cookies? I love those. Um, Thin Mints are my favorite. Uh, also, just very nostalgic, but half the flavors are, to be honest. Uh, but the Thin Mints, the Caramel Delights, uh, Maybe third place, the peanut butter ones. Those, those are pretty good. Unless there's two peanut butter ones. I'm not sure. <laughs> they're like chocolate covered. But they're all good. Uh, even the lemon ones are pretty fun. But I don't know. They're just like... Nostalgic? I guess. Usually when I get cookie, like cookies, I prefer like fresh ones from a bakery. But for like just like normal snacking like store ones. Uh, honestly, those taste so good. I don't know. I, I can't place them. Half nostalgia, half just kind of like, yeah. For like the store-bought cookie ones, uh, I like them. Or of that like genre. Because like normal store-bought cookies, like Chips Ahoy and stuff, I'm not a big fan of. Like they just taste like worse versions of what you get at like, you know, a bakery or something. But Girl Scout cookies actually taste like unique to themselves. Like you can't replicate them perfectly. They just taste how they do. This is my two cents. <laughs> But I like him. Also, I can't find the Korok guy. Actually, I now know where he is. <laughs> Never mind. Not from this playthrough, but when I was doing the uh, Zora run, I remember seeing a backpack Korok, and it wasn't one I need to do because we didn't we didn't get Koroks in that run because we didn't need them. Uh, the weapons are powerful enough. But I do you remember somewhere over here? There was a backpack wall. I believe it was just here. Yep, okay. <laughs> Literally from a challenge run, I remember that. Even though I never actually got him. There's like a couple things I found out first by playing the challenge runs. Uh, in the earliest ones, actually, uh, two of the caves uh, I found first in challenge runs. 
And that was both in like the Gruder area for the Gruder run. So, personally, that's silly. <laughs> okay, we're dealing with a glider. That's cool. <laughs> All these beacons I didn't need, but we have anyways. be enough it, it's only one fan also also yes i don't think doing the beam attack does it ruin the durability of the fuse i don't know either way swift file it's good oh no <laughs> doing every wrong thing now I kind of want to test that. Does, th or do the beams ruin the durability of the fuse? It'll break in like five if it does. I think it just is a base sword. Nope, it would have broken. Okay. So those don't ruin the durability of the fuse. That's good. I figured, but I didn't know. Because for the weapon, it's... Wait a second. Uh... Okay, the sword's not going to break. Okay. I'm pretty sure it has... Will they use up to 15 durability for the attachment? Oh, that's why I want to use the rocket. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I'm kind of like mathing out and figuring out little things, little patterns, and little uh, things. This should be fine now. Use everything and. Why didn't the wing wing? What? <laughs> Wait, actually, why did it do that? This is, this is a bad idea. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh my god. Why did that work? And why are we... How are we still on it? <laughs> what happened? <gasps> what? <laughs> I don't know, it could have been a slight weight issue, but it was probably a bigger weight issue than I thought. Aha! There we go. So if we start with... Yep, if we start with the recall, it seems... Hmm. Okay, so we fuse something first to it and overwrites the recall data. But if we recall it first, undo it, then fuse. I don't know why it does that, but... Or maybe not. I don't know. Usually it always works regardless, but... There we go, and then go! Yeah! That worked! That's all I was trying to do earlier. <laughs> the thing is... Yep. We're gonna take it in a little circle now. So it drops in the right place. It can, it can expire too on the right time, but it might not expire yet. Perfect. We gotta do a perfect landing here. Spin around. I can get stuck in this tray. Let's let's see. Wait, can I actually get it? Like as is. Almost. We'll, we'll just consider that good. <laughs> yeah. Not too bumpy of a landing. Quark Airlines is safe to fly again. Has a success rate of 100%. As of one minute ago. 
Bye. Again, again, again. Uh, might run out very soon, but we're doing it again. Yeah, I like things. Yowie. That's not what I meant. Okay. Now, don't get distracted. Oh! So you're just not supposed to put the fan on the tip. That's That's the problem. That I am now realizing after all this time. It's interesting weight distribution, even if you're on the other side. It's it's fragile up front, so heavy stuff goes in the back. Which okay, I can I, I can see why. It's fine. Oh, I almost fused to the rock. Oh, wrong one. Wrong way. We're just winging it. Yeah. A little lopsided. Perfectly fine. Or is it just... Yeah, okay. The rocket has a lot of thrust. Which way are we going? We'll just say this way. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Got the chest and... Oh, perfect! It's like it knew exactly. Oh. <laughs> Force rock. <laughs> cool. Average day. Nothing bad here. <laughs> that was part of the problem, too. Rockhead. <laughs> Perfect. Um, now he's got that one up top. Very up top. That's for you. Did we get the other? Nope. <laughs> Close, though. Not even a headshot. Oh, what? <laughs> it was so far back. Plunging attack. Good. <laughs> ah, that's fine. I more so just did it for fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> How do we get up there faster? Uh, I guess the cave? I think it's the point of this cave, actually. This very small cave. Aha. Wait. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Kind of. Kind of not even close. <laughs> Oops. There's got to be like an ascent point, you know? I think if we went through this. Yeah, we went through the cave more. Right! Okay, through the grate. In fact, I think that's the one that takes you to the top, isn't it? Oh, gives you boards for it. Cool. Oh, crafty and convenient. Bye bye, lizard. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is Zoro weapon, but we're full. Wasn't that it? Oh no, random decayed royal. <laughs> Not in theme. But it's cool. <laughs> like tease is like the waterworks thing. I guess there's one of those in the waterworks. One of the only times you send through a great watery area. So why does it look like this just feels out of place? Oh, it's trying to tell you to send here. Or or not. <laughs> or kinda. Indifferent? Undetermined. Unknown. Okay, there we go. This might lead you to the top. 
Why was it here then? <laughs> Hmm. Is this way up? The froggies! Yay! Wow! <laughs> oh, and that's a thing. What's well, anything we can recall? Yep, looks like that. I like these ruins here. The fallen ruins here and in the Redor area. I mean, it's the two main areas with like a lot of sky stuff above it. But it's cool the way they're like textured and. The blue rocks here. I don't know. I dig them. That's it. Yeah, like a little base up there. Nothing really to it. it just supposedly is part of the uh, wellspring area. That fell off. Okay. I like duplex bows for these. Will line up? Oh, come. What? I thought I'd shoot through. Oh no! Right here. Waiting for an eclipse to happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why we love duplex. Yeah. <laughs> Extra piercing potential. <laughs> Slightly different timing too. Good for hitting moving targets. In case you miss. It's helpful. All the way to the end. Not that bad, but... We have a plunging finish. <laughs> Don't want to have to heal again. We just did that. Whew. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> they have the sword attachment. I like that one. Good for Zora stuff. Yep. This is like my first time going to the Zora area. We went in through the sky. It was before I even did the regional stuff. But I saw at least this. And I don't think I fully understood what was happening here at first. Yeah, I definitely didn't. Uh, I went here and I saw the water and I assumed, oh, maybe there's like a dive mechanic in the game where you get to go underwater and that would be like the sage ability here. Because I didn't know because they're all kind of unique. You know, I was like, oh, this one you can fly more. Uh, you know, it was a giant Goron thing. So at first I thought there was a dive ability and there was a couple things leading up to the domain where I thought the ability would be a dive one. But it wasn't. <laughs> and that's fine because... We don't need underwater exploration. Well, I mean, I don't think I did this then, did I? I didn't! Because <laughs> I thought it was something we had to go underwater for. Three large zonites. Actually, not as bad. <laughs> Usually these types of chests always have like one fan or three zonite or something. A lot of the Zonai overworld ones do for some reason. But that's actually like a, you know, normal nice reward. So I'm proud of you. Oh, wanna try again? Ah, too early. Swing and a miss. D don't strike out. We broke it, but it. Yeah, literally shattered. We heard it. Not that time. Softball. <laughs> Hardball. Okay. Now we gotta be earlier. Oh, was just really early that first time. Is it too high? I'm shattering at the same time. So. Ooh. Change our bat. Okay. A little closer, so we gotta be faster then. Yeah! <laughs> Home run! Not quite a grand slam. Too many failures to get that. Ooh. Oh, badly. Two Yigas. Rip to that. <laughs> I 
Oh, I got that. Okay. <laughs> See a random ability I pick up. <laughs> and watch this. Oh, that again. Did we? Oh, we almost got two at once. <laughs> Imagine that. Bye bye. Well, we did good. That was it for that area. Um, this we can get that traveling one because the traveling Korok, and that one. Not bad. Yeah, we crave underwater exploration. I totally get it. I know why it's not in this game, because just... If you have underwater exploration, you have to flush out a whole underwater area. And the focus was elsewhere. So, like, I get that. Because in other Zelda games, like, the ones where you can, like, dive in stuff, like... They purposely don't put too many water areas, otherwise you'll just always go in every little lake and there'll be nothing. So... I'm fine with it in this game, especially since there's, like, oceans and stuff, but... If it's a focus in the next Zelda game and you really double down on that, it can be awesome, you know? So, yeah. That would be cool. Whoa. I have this Boko shield on my back that looks very fitting with the look. Let's let's change it. There we go. Zora again, besides Duplex. Also, sorry, I do like the uh, the different skeleton head on here now. I mean, different in general, because the normal skeletons are uh, of, like, the gray variety. This is, like, more of, like, actual, like, fossil color. Or, you know, Zelda fossil color. And there are always, like, the Leviathan bones around, but it's, like, now it's, like, a giant spine and a head. So it's, like, a huge beast was here. Never explained. I just assume it's, like, yep, a giant behemoth was in this mountain. Ribcage fell there, spine through there, head there. We are truly in the Attack on Titan universe. Just Titans everywhere. Because, like, how do you justify that? What's with the giant heads? But, you know, I think it's cool to have mysteries like that. So, hello, Korok. I mean, the big one in Breath of the Wild was the Zonai, but... I mean, it was a good topic for the sequel. Because the Zonai was just supposed to be, like, a enigmatic kind of... Past race history kind of thing. But it was a cool thing to actually embellish for a sequel. Yeah. But then there's still unanswered things, like these giant leviathan skeletons, or whatever you want to call them. Titans, I don't know. Hmm. That's way over there. Oh, you know what we could do? There's a bunch of trees, right? I never thought about this one this way. I don't want to use my good, good sword, but we all have good, good swords. That's next in the repair list. I just realized. I always use the tools around me that's available to do these. There's, there's tons of time to use, use your own custom stuff. But for every individual puzzle, it's like, they're going to give you enough tools to complete it right there. And I never really took advantage of this specifically. Being able to stitch long things together. It'll be setting up more of a challenge for ourselves, but... I don't think of how many. I'm thinking five will do it. If we want it stable, yeah, we need a little... Extra. Yeah. I'm keeping my word on that. Five. <laughs> They're like perfectly cut trees. Wow. You know, the thing is... Yeah, we could walk it across with the Korok, but... It's always nice to have these pokers. So you can keep your work. Or just... Move it on the far end of a stick. Literally. Yep. Poker stick for him. We'll just keep it lodged right there. Oh. I couldn't tell how high up that was. Yeah. Oh, no. Nope. My wood. Don't. Don't. 
Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. He's being a little dumb. That's fine. Imagine if he broke it. That would be a nice thing to imagine. Also, what the book say? Oh, road ahead is crumbling. Journey off, off the paved path. I, I don't think I read that before. <laughs> it's giving you an actual, like, uh, well, a little extra direction to go the different way. It's like, don't take the breath of the wall, boy. But you can. But there's a new way. I like the new way, personally. See, this is actually kind of cool. It's like, why make a build? Oh. Why make a vehicle to build? And you can just vehicle yourself over with a build. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> Tightrope. It's like not quite climbing. I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to do it. Wait, what if I crouched it? What if I sprinted it? Because you can like sprint up clip. Oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, they're a little thin for my taste. I'm pretty determined though. What if we did a two prong bridge? Then that just defeats the purpose of uh, nice and speedy mission here, doesn't it? Okay. We're going to get it directly, right? If I just get the center on it, then I can just tilt up. I'm, I'm so good at this. Um, what would help? Nothing? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Skill will help. So don't skill issue. How do we get like the first time and I'm just like... <laughs> okay, two more shots. I got this. It's like sliding off. Okay. My only plan is just... Make it slightly less steep. Yeah. Now, I think that's at least doable. Was steepness not an issue? It definitely was. Okay. I shouldn't even be sliding off right now. Here, just back up a little bit. You know what? It, it seems so cool in my head. Okay, I can't even get up the first one. So you know what we're gonna do? Just really quickly. And smartly. Do a two prong one. Yeah. Make it a little thicker. No, no amount of uh, finessing could have done, done that. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just got to make it up that first little bit. It's a little lopsided. But it's going to work. <laughs> I hate this. Why can't I just like act out what's in my head with absolute precision? It's not raining, which wasn't a problem. But in my head it was... Get back there. <laughs> Why can't I do the cool thing that was in my head? <laughs> oh, and that just flattened out everything. Making it very painful for myself. Okay. All you gotta do, Link, is just that. I was in the sheet before. I, I have to see it through. If I don't see things through, then there's no point in the method. Okay, one, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Yep, we lay it like that, so... It's gonna work. I, I have faith in everything. That this... No. <laughs> 
The challenge of a lifetime. Climbing one single tree. That should be possible. That is possible. It, it's like it doesn't want me to. Come on, there's no limits in Tears of the Kingdom. You can build a giant Batmobile that flies and shoots lasers and does everything else. You should be able to climb a single tree. No! You can't reach your friend that way, Korok. I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan. I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan, I have a plan. Just pull out a minute. Pull out. It's gonna work perfectly too. Just get out, tree. Please. We only cut that one, but we can build a better start to the bridge. Just like that. Yeah! Woo! We did it! <gasps> Literally right in time. Okay, we got it. You take this entire contraption. How about that, okay? The entire thing. It's 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 going so s I'm not I'm not doing anything right now. <laughs> Please. Gotcha. <laughs> It wasn't just the tree that broke, it was my soul. <laughs> it wasn't the rain, it wasn't anything else but <laughs> my stubborn determination. But now we know you can't climb a single tree. See, it pays off. Extra payoff will just break everything. It's all just giving me one wood. Yep. Shame me some more, why don't you? Okay. Pain over. Look at these last few Koroks. I didn't even see the updated count, so. We'll see where we're at in a moment. But we're definitely in the last 100 now, which is good. And yes, we're going fishing. Bird style. Yeah, stand still for a moment. Make it easy. Oh. What? I saw that. Just barely not. Beep. Yellow bird gets yellow weapon. That's our ration. Ooh. We'll use this. <laughs> Fish meets a lizard. He's blown away by that. Oh, wait. It came in handy. It contained the loot together. <laughs> what are the odds? You were actually useful for something. Hardly. Actually? No. It all lined up for us. What are the odds of just literally coming down at that exact time? Not very high, but cool. There's a cooking pot and... Do I see a flower? No. Is it under the bridge? A little too hidden. Me my clock standards. Oh. Oh, on top of these, maybe. Quark uh, mask. Quark mask. Quark mask. Unless that's another traveling Quark. It just might be. <laughs> Let's look at our map. Three traveling quarks in a row, maybe? Boop. Um... Nope, that is a quark I accidentally pinned that does not exist. Yep. Okay. Good to know. Cool. Well, that <laughs> is interesting. I'm usually decently accurate. Today just is not the best test to that. <laughs> Hmm. We could get that one, because I'm curious about what that is. Oh, those are logs? No, different logs. Yeah, it's... That already seemed like a location with, like, a timer challenge. Or even flower trail, like, hopping between the fossils. You know, come to think of it, we're talking about it, but, like, giant behemoth skeleton... 
But then also these ruins are like giant behemoth fish. Like the land was run by giants and giant fish. This is like a fishing pond for him. He would have a little cabin there and like hunted the giant fish here as a giant. Yeah, that, that'll be my headcanon for this area. I never really thought about it that way, but... I mean, these ruins are here in Breath of the Wild, but expanded upon with the skull and spine in there. To really confirm it was a giant human. Of sorts. Giants ruled the land. Neato. So was that pre-zone at a time, or what? Who knows? Anyways, look at this cool, uh... Surf. Water surfing. <laughs> Swim in. Bye-bye, splashies. Yeah. <laughs> Could have picked him up, but... Sidon is a splash fruit. Just an unlimited one. So, we don't need other splashies. Oh, a little bit of the extra. It'll probably end today with, uh... Well, I don't know the exact count of Crocs, but a lot more of those, and... I'll probably send more next stream trying to get the rest of the armors. Because last stream we did a lot of armor stuff, this stream a lot of Koroks, and... Only a few more armor things in general to do. Hello. <laughs> Bullion. Wind it! <laughs> Actually intentional this time. <laughs> One for ya. Don't shock the fruit away. Or it's actually jellies. Oh. Did he win me or... Oh, bouncy. Neat. Oh, too much. <laughs> he was wet. I didn't... I didn't realize. Just so many things. I like things. Bye. <laughs> okay, just bought a break. So I know it's a repair for next time. The boy in the heron. That's how it ends. Oh. You can occasionally get good meat, but... Oh, we got a bone in from that. Not super common, to be honest. I knew we just talked about it, though. I don't see a pinwheel. What's this one? A dive circle? Oh, it is. <laughs> Bad angle. <laughs> the one deep part over here. Just barely make it in. Why am I fighting such low-level enemies? Well, it's Ganon's fault for just constantly giving them to me. You should see how advanced we are. Step up his game a bit, you know? But he's not. So they're fun to bully. Yay. I should not use this again now. Hmm. Those two. I can save the Kakariko ones for when we just warp their necks. So maybe these three Koroks we'll get then? Surprised we missed that one because we passed it. This area with the gloom hand, so I'm not surprised we missed that because I was scared, more than likely. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna build one more. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four. Oh, what do you know? The airship's already overwritten. <gasps> That's a shame. <laughs> we did that much, huh? <laughs> eh. That was not actually the part I needed, but... <laughs> How do we build the airship?
Okay, I was gonna build one more. It's, it was kind of goofy. It was kind of fun. Mildly helpful. If you let it. There we go. See, if just pop, pop it in. I'll take the money. Three rupees. I'm rich. Nope. Nope. Wrong button. <laughs> Wrong everything. There we go. Oh, no, you're good. It's like a little kickstand I was trying to make. Perfecto. <laughs> Link's flying castle. Castle in the sky. It's goofy. It's like a goofy or less practical hover bike. But I made it, so I can patent it. And t sell it to people who are unknowing about the hover bike. Yay. I'm just going to casually float down. See, it has a nice soft float feature. An improvement on the hover bike. The one thing that's better than that. But cons, everything else. Also, this is a very... Wait, can I just... Boop. <laughs> Yay. Trademark. <laughs> Other ones. <laughs> this is how we go into the gloom hand fight. So how many rupees do I think I'll make after I sell everything at the end? Um, that's a great question. I, if we're considering, I don't want to consider armors, but we'll do all, just all material. I want to say a lot, but since you don't have very high value selling stuff in this game compared to Breath of the Wild, I want to say about like 180,000. A million's like the cap, but that's just way too much, I feel. Um, 180, because you just have a lot of quantities of low stuff. And stuff doesn't sell nearly as much as the last game, but since I just so much quantity, I think 180,000 is going to be still a pretty good amount. If I'm just selling it, not cooking it, you know. With armors, I think a lot of that sells for. With the upgrades, even in the thousands range. So I forgot, but that could bring it to like 300 at least. Which we might do an armor version. We won't keep that safe, but um, yeah, we will be doing it at the end. That'll be the last thing to play through is, I guess, seeing our net worth in a sense. Just because it'll be kind of funny. We'll figure it out. Yeah, a couple more weeks of this. Um, for to estimate, yeah, I said some sometime early April, and it seems to be likely still. <laughs> Hi, Gloom. <laughs> it thought it could get me. You know, it, why not? <laughs> Hello. What's the scoop? You know, what if we just do one of these? Just high damage right off it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blood hit back. <laughs> and that is not the type of heading we needed. <laughs> that was just a bad fall. Ah! No! <laughs> Someone deal with them. They're almost gone. <laughs> he is? And that still did good. good. <laughs> okay. Duplex go bow can go. Meantime we have. <laughs> 60 damage sword on top of the fuse. We're going to go with a bit of attack, though. To finish off nice and uh, fiercely. <laughs> with the teleport. Haha. <laughs> Dodge for us both, I guess. And again. <laughs> One good combo is all it's going to take. So long. <laughs> Actually, close. Almost one good combo. <laughs> and his sword was... Oh, yeah, airship caught it. Dirigible. 
See, I know the Master Sword doesn't take durability on a Ganon. Oh! Nice. But I don't know if that also applies to the weapon fuse, too. Ow. Maybe. Oh well, either way. That's why I have these. Ah, quick spin. And long spin. <laughs> okay. Well, Sora's gonna break first anyways. We'll find something to break it on. Oh, and the bow. Right. The actual best part of that. Um, Sorry, duplex. I guess we'll have to fish out another. That's a bad sp starting spot. I don't want that. It's going. So nice water bottle. Thank you. Uh, my girlfriend made it for me like three years ago already, and I've been literally nonstop using it. It's just, yeah, it's just the one. You only need one good one. So, whoopsies. <laughs> it just pops up. Cool. That's kind of silly. Mm. There we go. All right, also for streams, uh, well, sorry. I got cut off by like every enemy that was fighting me earlier, but um, yeah, a couple more weeks of this playthrough, probably finish in early April and then next playthrough right afterwards, um, which will be every Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, with like same as this time. Uh, but yeah, also for our other streams, we're doing Minish Cap currently. Um, I'm doing it usually about every other Friday. Uh, schedule's kind of up in the air, but Next episode for that is this Friday. It's at uh, noon, noon uh, Eastern time, so 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, that's been a lot of fun. We have the playlist for that in the description if you're trying to catch up. Um, about halfway through the 100%, I want to say. Probably on top. But yeah, that's been a lot of fun. So we'll do the next parts uh, this Friday. <laughs> oh my God! <gasps> a little closer, buddy. <laughs> what? Okay, nice. <laughs> Hear me talk about Minish Cap? He's like, Minish Cap? Because <laughs> he is Minish, you know? Um, yeah, the next one for next time. I'm just going to save and reload and see how many Koroks we got, actually. But yeah, Minish Cap this Friday at noon Eastern. Um, it'll probably do that every other week. or It's kind of on its own schedule, but when we do it, it's... Friday is at noon, so just so you know, overload this. But that's been a lot of fun. I like 2D games; they're a lot faster pace and you know tighter net. 909. Okay. So 91 Koroks left, which is a good amount. <laughs> We're gonna finish on the. <laughs> oh wait. That's too far. If you don't talk to the person fast enough, they won't give you a reward. I think we... Oi. Yeah. We meet again. Ah. Studying zone and devices. Mm. If you ah. don't talk to him in like five seconds after, you don't get the food. He probably thinks we didn't even save him. We're so far. <laughs> Thought it was just, I don't know, natural selection. Piece of debris hit him or something. Yeah, final 100. Um, how do we celebrate? Whew. That's not how we celebrate. It's a bad celebration. That's a good celebration. <laughs> and with a bit of uh, spin to win. Oh, that is not how we celebrate. We can take it back and go back. Okay. For the pain you are. <laughs> bye bye. How do we finish? So long. <laughs> Extra charge attack. Can do this all day. And that's for the plunge. <laughs> all right. Lizzle tails. Those are. I gotta make something with that. Um, my range weapon is this. Cause 
not as good of range as having the tail on it, but um, it can at least be a blade so I can, like, cut grass. Which, yeah, we didn't test out, but it is something like this. See, it's a great grass cutter, especially if you're trying to get a certain ingredient of sorts. Not for crickets, because you just keep killing them. Oh, and literally everything. But if you're trying to get wheat, grass, uh, or wheat, rice. There's also amber grass in the game. It's kind of fun. I, I will, yeah. Not good for bugs, though. But yeah, I like that. And since you have the big arm claymore at the end, uh, it has more durability than the base weapon, so it won't shatter before it. They'll shatter at the same time. So you won't risk, like, accidentally shattering the second weapon before the first. They'll shatter at the end together. Um, so you know we're repairing them at the same time. So. All right. That's all I wanted to say. 909 Korok. So we have 91 left and a few more armor upgrade pieces. Uh, which we got some gems for. The stuff that we needed. But maybe put a little more focus on that next stream. Along with a couple other things. And yeah. 100% is just a couple weeks away. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, been an awesome journey ever since the summer this game came out. Ending our first playthrough. Just 100%ing. Uh, so see you guys next week. Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern for more. Um, also, for those yet tuning in to Minish Cap, that'll be this Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So, thanks for watching. Blanc says goodbye. <laughs> the new runner. And Boink. They're they're like the pairing. They're like silly. I don't know. They have interesting shape faces. and Yeah. That's just two of the six I have. But, anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>